Welcome on back, everybody. Welcome to a brand new episode of Kingdom Craft. My name's Tree, and we're going to keep it short today. Uh, we're taking a little feedback on board in regards to the episodes that we've had so far, and they are you know, not typically between 25 and 30 minutes long, but today's episode is going to make it a little bit shorter. Uh, today we're going to focus on our second ever story. You can see behind us, Tree's Mysteries. That was our first ever store that we opened. Uh, we opened it back on uh, 12th of July. So we thought it would be time for a brand new store in the Discord for the community here in Kingdom Craft. There was a need for trees and for wood. So what we're going to do is we're going to certainly take into account that request and we are going to happily oblige by it. So what would be better than a tree? Creating a tree store. So this episode we're going to spend a little bit of time creating a tree. Uh, store for everybody to take uh, advantage of and harness uh, while also at the same time meeting our ghost yeah uh, me and paper got a little bit freaked out by it uh, I apparently have a ghost on the server didn't just appear for us it also appeared for Schnarf Schnarf had a little visit from my ghost in the, the nether also so yeah so it's appeared a couple times I think we also had one other incident with maybe another player but I'm not too sure uh, so yeah so enjoy this one sit back grab a cup of tea and I'll catch you guys at the end after a nice little shorter episode. Enjoy. I think I'm going to go with building a tree. But we'll head over and I'll show you why I was reluctant to build a tree. Because we may have some copyright infringement to worry about. So our dear friend Papered. Dear, dear friend Papered. Has already opened up a store in the shopping district. And you will see in about, you know, if I just zip over here quickly. Just over here somewhere. Come on. Ooh, someone's building something here. Ooh, very nice. I don't know what the hell they're not, not sure what they're building over there. Boop. Ah, here. Almost went right past it. Papered has technically already built a tree. She sells her books in the tree. And she's made a really nice job of it. A bit of water, plants, looks kind of good. But my issue is it's a tree for books. So if I build a tree for wood, I, I don't know if she'll sue me. You know, we could have like an online, like, spat here, you know, about who, you know, am I allowed to use a tree? Can I use a tree? I'm not sure. So, I'm, I'm a, I, that's why, I, that's the only reason why I was going to do a tree, that's the only reason why I didn't do a tree. Uh, okay, so let's just do a little tour of the surrounding area. So, things have evolved slightly over here now. In fact, we've lost a pillager, sadly. There was a pillager there last a couple of days ago. Um, so Callum's actually opened up his brand new shop here. Welcome to Scenic Shop Golden Nuggets. So he's made a sort of an elaborate golden nugget shop. Oh, he seems to be doing quite a few sales there. Oh, he's not sold any glowberries yet. What else have we got? Amethyst blocks. Ah, oh, no sales there yet either. So Callum's opened up a, a nugget shop. Nice little golden, a little trailer there. It just looks like a bowl of golden nugget cereal. Love it. So we've all, we've well, you, anyone that's watching this back should know that this is Schnarfs. We've been in there before. Uh, he sells rockets. And slime. There we go. Which we've not quite got into using yet, but we will in the future. Uh, rails, uh, axolotl exhibit teaser, let's just say. Coming around the corner. We actually have his Welcome to Get Rails Ocean Oddities. This is a really this is a really good one actually. You know, the black the ink sacks. Prismarine. Sea lanterns. Uh nothing in the Prismarine, dark prismarines, and then the Prismarine bricks. This is a really nice one, this one. I really like what Rails done here. Very spectacular. Hungry, free cod. <laughs> <laughs> Some free car, I don't mind. Uh, this one's just opened up as well. This has just opened up uh, just the other day. Uh, Stigsney's hasn't put a name on it yet, but this is uh, Stigsy's shop. Uh, it's all to do with redstone. So you've got observers, sticky pistons, comparators, redstone dispensers, droppers, 
hoppers, pistons, and repeaters. So I got a whole bunch of redstone things in here. So yeah, he seems to be pretty busy. I'll need to be taking a lot of these in the future, I think. Uh, next one is a honey system. Other currencies accepted message for Steven. So this is Steven's honey. Honey, honey, honey. I love the noise that it makes. <laughs> the Steven's honey. And I think the duck was over here for a while. I'm not sure where his ducks went. Uh, but coming soon, quite quick. I'm going to guess this is going to be something for the future. So it seems like we're kind of boxed in on this end. So it looks like if I'm building a store, it's going to be over here somewhere. I think. So if we've got Callum's here, so what we got over there, uh, flower shop coming soon. So that's going there. And I don't want to build right next to the existing tree because, well, I don't want to make a better tree. Not that that tree is not good, but you know, I don't want to make another tree and put it quite, quite near to it. So I'm having slight issues with where to build it. I'm not sure. We could probably put it like <laughs> over here, maybe? Like through the, so I go through the middle of the two of them. And I could, this gives me a lot more freedom to just build one enormous tree. And just make it an absolute enormous tree here. That could work. I think, I think that could work quite well, but we'd have to continue the path system from here, past rails, past the redstone, and to here. Um, okay, so Schnarth and I, so for the community project for today, we are building spawn. So, because it's so large, it's going to be here. Okay. So this is going to be um, where we'll spawn, where we'll keep our, like, whips stuff the nether portal will be moved to be on the back wall of okay. that. and this is going to be sunk maybe like 30 40 blocks into the ground mm -hmm. so the paths from it will come out the two skinny ends okay right? okay town hall is going to go there so like that the backdrop of this will be town hall over by the cactuses over by the cactuses so that whole thing there will be like Town hall. Okay. So the paths that come out the sides will then go into the shopping district. Which is going to remain over here? So technically, the whole biome is supposed to be shopping district. Ah, okay, okay, so okay. So this whole biome will be shopping district. I know that a lot of these, some of these shops are being changed, torn down, rebuilt, etc., etc. Okay. Um, this notice board that's here will move and go back and go into spawn. I think. Okay. No so props. We have a community notice board. Are you wanting to build back here? So I I just need a space for two buildings. Oh, this says boom coming soon bagpipe. So this is no this is something else. Yep. And there's flowers. Oh, this is yours. <laughs> And then there's obviously there's, there's there. quartz there. So I think the quartz, the, the blocked quartz area is obviously bagpipes then. Yeah, so I think Amethyst is bagpipes and then I think Yowie's putting a flower shop up there. Yep. Um, and then Railed and I are using this ravine as a shop. Right, okay. But apart from that, I think you can literally just build anywhere. I'm not sure if Stephen's planning on putting something like his Omniduck shop. Why? There. I didn't notice there was something down there. Okay. First time I've seen this as well. Yeah, I didn't even notice there was stuff down there. I've just walked past it every time. Well, it's not built yet. But to be fair, though, I did put it all in today. Ah, oh, okay. I've, I've not been on today, so. No, so Real and I have, have spent the past couple of days carving this out. So this is going to be our new shop, which I think is called Blocks. <laughs> right, okay. Relax. <laughs> Blocks. All right. So I basically have free reign to basically build wherever reign. I want, and then the path system will just be integrated and just move around naturally. Yeah. I think so. So you have three right. rooms okay. in the 
this biome. Like this whole biome is community shop building. Hello world. Hello people that are viewing this. Tree again. Um now I'm actually gonna rudely interrupt this a little bit here because uh, unfortunately it didn't quite fit into the content. Uh it actually happened while we were streaming and it was a little bit odd. It was a little bit odd. Let me move this can this torch out of the way. There we go. Uh, myself and Paper were off doing our own different things. She was working on the community build at the time and I was just talking to Twitch chat, uh, which the link is down below if you want to watch us live. You can, you can catch us on twitch.tv uh, forward slash corrupted underscore tree. Uh, however, uh, as I was having a conversation with people in the Twitch chat, this happened. So it didn't really fit into my content I was going to put out today, but I felt as though I'd keep it in. Uh, we actually got to... No, I actually thought this was a bit of a prank, but apparently it wasn't. Uh, I have a ghost on the server. And... Yeah, all I can say is we'll roll the tape, enjoy. The the conversation obviously a little bit, like there's no context to it, so I thought I'd interrupt before we get into it. Uh, but yeah, here's here's the moment we met our ghost on the server and it kind of freaked Paper out a little bit. Not just the first time it happened, it actually happened twice. It happened to Schnarf as well, uh, and also I believe it happened to somebody else on the server also. So, enjoy. But we have two stores to build, and I'm just a little... How is there another me? Tree? Tree? Why is there another me? I thought that was you and you were just ignoring me. Nope, I'm right here. Tree? Oh. <laughs> um. Did you? That's nothing to do with me. I've just been up on top of that hill talking to my Twitch chat. What did you do? Nothing. Like, literally nothing. I thought you guys were messing with me. How could... You saw that as well, right? That's not me just freaking out, right? I thought that was you. I thought you were just wandering around and I came over to speak to you and you just ignored me and I was like, okay, cool. Um, I'm impolite. Yeah, I was, I was on top of that hill. I had to fly down. Um, have that I, just happened. Have that I, just happened. Yeah, I've got a ghost yeah. on the server. <laughs> well, that's freaky. Do you think we all have ghosts? I don't know, but that was like really freaky. I didn't like that. I didn't enjoy no, that. I, no, I'm going to be... Okay, I'm going to move on like nothing ever happened. Oh, Rail, Rail just saw you. it. Rail just goes, that's some weird stuff, not going to lie, in my chat. He saw it as well. Zen saw it. Audrey saw it. Oh my word. That was freaky. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, tell me if you see my ghost. Oh, well, if I see your ghost in the server, I'll be sure to let you know. <laughs> Doppelganger. <laughs> it's okay, we copied me. <laughs> I actually checked the player list as well in case someone changed their name just to troll me. If you ever see me walking past you and I ignore you, it's not me, it's my ghost. Okay, that that is noted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye again. <laughs> wow, that was freaky. All right. Uh, well, before I was rudely interrupted by a ghost, uh, this is the part of the map that we've picked. So just behind this cliff here behind us. Uh, obviously, the, all the shops are in front of us. So we're going to pick this little bit of land. This seems to be the nicest place for it. So, yeah, right behind us. We're just going to jump into a quick little time lapse now of me building the tree store. Enjoy and take it away.
There we go. Here's trees. Trees are all completed. Uh, took a little bit longer than expected, but we were able to do a good job with it. Uh, as you can see in the background, we managed to get our iron pickaxe. <laughs> we'll upgrade it as we go. There's been a few suggestions to make it gold, diamond, and even netherite in the future. So we'll see how it goes as the store flourishes. Hey, what did there? Flourishes. Uh, we'll certainly look at maybe upgrading the axe in the future to be a different material. Uh, but for now, I really enjoyed that tree store. Uh, we'll just go for a little tour around it just now to show you the, the interior, but it seems to be almost finished. Uh, there's a few little things on the inside that I would like to change, uh, hopefully in the future. Uh, there's a little bit of an issue with lighting, so we're going to work on the lighting around the outsides. Uh, we're also going to put some street lighting up into the from the venue. Uh, we've got a little water pond over here that we're going to uh, make a little bit tidier. And then once we get inside, um, we've got a few sort of, you know, more resources to go over. What's in stock is going to be on the wall. As we run around, we've got every single, you know, potential item. Other stuff there as well. Um, oak dark oak crimson warped we have pretty much one of everything so yeah it should be pretty good i'm really happy with the way it's coming along we uh thought we'd come back visit the shop see how we've been getting on because i've had a few messages to say that we've sold quite a bit so i think we'll go take a little look see how we'll see what's the most popular items so i think we'll go this way first so we started off with the oak. Oh, five. One, two, three, four, five. Any leaves? Leaves are not popular. Uh, spruce. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Any leaves? Nah, nobody likes leaves. Uh, acacia. Oh, one, two, four. No leaves. Nobody likes leaves. Uh, birch. Oh, three for birch. So quite popular. Let's have a little look, see what else we've got. The warp roots, one. The weeping vines, one. Twisted vines, Ooh, one. And crimson roots, one. Oh, nice. Uh, jungle, oh, no one's picked up the jungle, interestingly. We, now, we don't actually have any leaves, but no one's picked up the jungle logs. Or the dark oak. Interesting. Uh, Crimson Stem. Oh my god, oh, they've all sold out. <laughs> How many was that? So that was seven. So we had seven stacks of 64 and they're already gone. So they're quite hard to get a hold of. Um, and then the last one is the Warp Stem. <laughs> all gone. Uh, warped. Oh, one. So someone's took a row of the, the Warped Wart block. And the last one... No, no, I've not got the last one. I've got the trees, the azaleas. Any any takers on the azaleas? Nah, no, no takers on the azalea trees yet. And we sold out the shroom lights. Really? Okay, fair enough. So in our first day trading, we made 52 diamonds. One would say this was quite a productive day then. Mm, okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna go have to go harvest a little bit. And it looks like we're gonna have to restock up a little bit. So you can see over here on our little sign, this is our items currently in stock. We're gonna have to take off a couple of these. We're gonna have to take off a couple. Oh, I never thought this would be a thing. Okay, well, day one of shop trading looks like it's been a great success. All right, all right, all right. Welcome, welcome to. Revenge of the Bamboo. So I had a little bit of time to think about this. And here is a little reminder of what happened about a week ago now. But, but let's just say look, this is what happened the last time uh, the Bamboo shenanigans started. Uh, ro ro roll the tape here, Mr. Street. Roll the tape.
All right. See what I did there? Quite a lot of bamboo. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take you upstairs very quickly to see the aftermath of what happened when I tidied that. Now, if you want to see the entire video, go check out episode number five, uh, episode number five of the YouTube series. I'll put the link down below and I'll maybe put it like up in the links above or something. But what happened was, if I just put this back on, uh, this one here, bamboo, bamboo. This was the aftermath. I had to clean all this up. Yep, that was us. So I have seven double chests of bamboo that I need to get rid of. So I'm going to go for a little bit of a time lapse of my revenge. So, um, by the powers of editing, enjoy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Callum. <laughs> little disclaimer. Uh, replay mod didn't work. For whatever reason, replay mod didn't work. So here is a little bit more of what happened after. So luckily this footage did actually work. It was able to render okay. I'm not sure why it didn't take the first two uh, replay mods, but as you can see, we went a little bit to town. Uh, we didn't get rid of all the bamboo in the end of all the dirt. Uh, it seemed a bit excessive. And I think to get to the stage that you can see on, on stream just now, it took about four and a half, uh, sorry, two and a half hours in total to take to put up. Um, there's a little bit of time. You can see to the right there, obviously I must be out of shot at this point. And obviously it's not quite rendering the right hand side of the, the chunks there, but uh, you can see the, just the sheer excessive size of it. Um, and yeah, it, it took us a little bit of time to put up and grow. And I was a little bit, every, time, every single time somebody logged into the server, I was always worried that Callum was going to be uh, there to, to log in and catch me doing it. But I did it as polite as I could, you know, I didn't put it in his house or anywhere down below. I literally just put a level of dirt over the top of the canyon and I you know, put the, the bamboo on top. So, although, I, I, you know, it could have been a lot worse, but I couldn't do that to Calum, a really dear friend. So, it took a little bit of time to tidy up. I had a bit of lag later on, but uh, yeah, but we'll catch his reaction in the next episode. Uh, that is for sure. Right, so on that bombshell, I think we'll uh, call it there for today. Now, you've actually joined me inside my cave. I have been working on this in the past, so uh, look out for the next episode after this one. I've already been working on it. Uh, there is obviously the content ready to go, but I see from the feedback I've had so far is to try and shorten the episodes. So I've kind of a lot shorter today, a little bit covered. Uh, I was going to have a little bit more into it, but obviously, as we know, we lost the replay mod files. Uh, they didn't save for whatever reason. The game crashed and I lost those files. So we lost out in the, the full experience of Callum. So, uh, yeah, so next episode, we're going to be tuning in. We'll be able to catch the uh, start of the uh, cave expansion system for all of our mining uh, and all of our automated farming. It's all going to be within here in the future. So I'm not going to sneak peek it, but it's going to be in here. So watch out for that in the next one. Also in the next episode, we'll get Callum's reaction to the bamboo. Uh, and we'll also start a little bit of work on the community project that's across on the server. Until then, hope you enjoyed this shorter episode. Again, if this is too short or if it's still too long, let me know um, down in the comments below. Any subscribe, if you want to subscribe as well, uh, be sure to hit that button. You'll get notified of when my videos go live for the next one. All right. Have an incredible weekend, and so obviously I'm releasing on the weekend, so have an incredible weekend, and I'll no doubt catch you on my streams Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, all on Twitch from 6pm. Have a good one. See you later. <laughs>